Hello, data fans. I just came back from holidays, so I didn't have time to go over the latest Streamlit 1.49 release, which comes with spark lines in ST metric. It feels like I've been asking for this forever. Cell selection on data frame. So now inside a Streamlit rerun or a Streamlit callback, you can access the range of cells selected inside an ST data frame by the user. There's PDF viewing without using a third party component or upload a directory of files into Streamlit. I also had interesting reactions to my latest eight libraries to build Python dashboards video that you should watch here, like a comment on should I learn React to build better data apps, a few requests for a reflex video, and even a pull request to merge a dashboard library I didn't know about called Tram. I, I like it. Feel free to merge your own take on this dashboard video using another library like Mesop, like Wave, like Marimo, like Voila. Uh, go for it. You're, you're free to do it. But my mind is still on holidays, so I didn't prepare anything for this video. And I'm not really in the mood to code apps or edit uh, a video. So let's, you know, just grab a drink and chat about what videos to share next on my channel. Obviously, more Streamlit videos. For example, I've been playing with the alpha release of Streamlit Components version 2. Now, using Streamlit Components, you can embed any JavaScript library back into Streamlit. Like, for example, my Streamlit eCharts or my Streamlit Drawable Canvas are just embedding of eCharts and Fabric.js into Streamlit. The thing is, I had multiple small problems with maintaining Streamlit eCharts and Streamlit Drawable Canvas in Components version 1. For example, it's hard to re-trigger the rendering of the component or to share states back and forth between the Streamlit part and the component JavaScript part. All of this is fixed in Components version 2. I tried integrating Tailwind buttons, because you know I love Tailwind from my latest video, and it worked really well. So when it comes out, you can expect a video about Streamlit components. Especially for those of you who don't know anything about React or JavaScript, but still want to integrate their own JavaScript library like charts.js. So I want to make a video for those of you who don't know React to create your own components uh, using the version 2. And there will be another way I'll talk later in the video to do this. The Streamit roadmap is full of interesting things to come. There is the Starlet integration. We will probably be able to put Streamlit over a fast API server and maybe we'll get custom HTTP endpoints this way. We get image cards, we have grid layout coming, there are other flexbox options coming, so probably another video about layout, I know you love them. We're not done yet with streaming videos. I cannot show it to you, but I have a Notion database of about 250 video ideas. I have trouble sorting them out. I, I'm always thinking maybe I should build a Streamit app for you data fans to vote on your favorite video ideas. And some of those questions come from your comments under my videos. Stuff like how do I center a title in Streamlit is an interesting question. I just don't see myself doing a 12 plus a minute video about centering a title in Streamlit. I've been thinking during holidays, is this where creators use shorts? Can I build a YouTube short answering this question in one minute? And I'd be like, how do I center a title in Streamlit? Create a flex container, write a title, stretch the width and horizontal align in the center and ta-da! I think I can edit those under 30 minutes. It's just a matter of do you watch educational content with shorts? The thing is, I also want to post non-streamlit related videos on this channel. I mean, my job does not only consist of building Streamit apps. Granted, I have a full-time job where I build Streamit applications to showcase GCP Google Cloud Platform solutions or Gen AI features integrated into products to solve business problems. So I got a lot of Streamit video ideas from those projects. But recently, I got more involved into Google Cloud Data Platform generation and generative AI demos. 
So less time with Streamlit, more time with FastMCP or Google ADK for uh, Gen AI agents and MCP servers. I got to do a lot of Terraform recently, Kubernetes, DBT over BigQuery, Dataform, Dataflow. Uh, I did even some Polars recently to analyze data. And I never really talk about those technologies on my channel, even if it's dedicated to you data fans who are data analysts, data scientists, data manager, data architects. I always wonder if anyone would be interested in those technologies, and if yes, in which format? Should I do a just chatting video like this one? Should it be a short? Does it have to be a code breakdown? Yeah, sometimes I do want to post something that is not code related, so no code breakdown, no live coding. Speaking of building streaming apps at my job, I have one ultimate job announcement in which maybe I will stop building streaming apps. Mm. The team I'm working in is in talks of being acquired by a big consulting company. Not that it stresses me out, but I don't know what will happen to me in the following months. Maybe I will become more AI consulting oriented. Maybe I will become a, a consultant. Or maybe I will be fired. So maybe I will be building more slide decks than streaming prototypes. I mean, you may not know from this channel, but I also spend time building data strategies or gen AI product requirements and use case definitions I'm using. Oh, I, I have books to show you, right? Like if you're trying to build like business data strategies, you know, you've got this uh, book like Kaplan's strategy maps or value proposition, value proposition design that I do also use to build data strategies. And maybe you also want to know how I build presentations for uh, C-suite executives or how I use value proposition strategies to build dashboards uh, for B business intelligence. And I'm like, well, maybe it's okay to talk about this in this just chatting format, sharing my experiences, my 10 year experiences in data for those of you who want to be less technical and maybe try to go into a more strategic data role. So yeah, I'm looking for formats where I don't need to do a code breakdown every week to maintain your attention. I just want to share life. Like, like, like this. If you're in Paris and you want to meet me to talk about this, then here's a meet me announcement. I'll be going to Pi Data Paris at the end of this month, in September 2025. I'll be going with the Streamlit team. They, they will be doing a talk about building production level applications with Streamlit. And there's a sprint, uh, I don't remember, I think it's on Thursday. Uh, there will be a sprint on creating custom components for Streamlit using Custom Components version 2. So you may be building the next generation of Streamlit eCharts. So I wonder if I should vlog the event, if any of you would be interested in doing small interviews, if you want to showcase your dashboard or talk about Python libraries to build your data apps or generative AI demos. Uh, maybe I can ask Johannes, Streamlit's product manager, uh, to do an interview and in that case maybe leave your questions for him in the description below i mean in the comments below and i'll go ask him that could make a great october video anyway yeah that's the the post holiday slump that is going on in my life i'm still thinking about my next five video topics so if any of those subjects got your interest leave a comment below i'm still brainstorming the future of this channel so any input from you will be very helpful. I will, yeah, I'll see you around. I need to grab a last drink and I think I'll just go. Bye.